So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I'm holding a badge here and it says the mouse deer group. Annie is really wearing one. And uh, we're going to talk more on this uh, and this particular topic uh, called knowing children. That's right. Yeah. Now, what is knowing children and uh, what do they do? Let's welcome our guests in the studios. As I mentioned, uh, we've got on our extreme left, or extreme right, Radha, who's a mouse deer group member. And of course, next to Radha is Nitya Salraj, Children's Participation Coordinator. I like that title. Very interesting. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Well, yeah, good morning. Mm -hmm. Nitya, tell us more about this Knowing Children program. Okay, Knowing Children is an NGO. Mm -hmm. We are still quite new in Malaysia. We are an international based NGO. Mm -hmm. We started off in Malaysia in 2010. Mm -hmm. Our main focus is on um, coming up with children friendly research mm -hmm. to get uh, better data about any matters concerning children mm -hmm. and to use this data. Normally, we present it as reports to right. be used to facilitate, to, to be given to policy makers mm -hmm. so that they can come up with better. Uh, policies or systems for children. Right. Ah, so when you mention children's uh, research rather than adult-based research. Yeah, right? it's basically yeah. children-friendly research right, using right. Uh, proper right to be properly research method. That's mm -hmm. our, okay. that's the technique we use. Uh, because normally when you talk about getting, res doing research with children, uh, we get, it's normally adult deciding yeah, what is right. the context of the research right. and what are the parameters involved. Mm. But when you go about a children-friendly way, it's basically all the activities are child friendly. Mm -hmm. They get to have fun mm -hmm. and they get to express themselves and the ideas more freely. Oh, so the I data see. that you get it's more from the children's perspective. So, so peers we take in doing the peers' work. Yeah, basically on in light of uh, children's participation. Right. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. Radha, tell us how you got involved in this. Now you yeah. are a mouse deer, deer group member. Yeah. So let us know a, lo a little bit about yeah. this mouse deer. What is the connection between yeah. the mouse deer group and the knowing, uh, children. knowing children project? Um, well, um, okay, let's start you with the first question. I think yeah. we've given you too much. <laughs> yeah. Tell us how you got involved. Yeah. Um, actually, the Knowing Children, they came over to my home, uh -huh. um, and then they did a research there, and then based on that research, I had a question to ask them, mm -hmm. and then I emailed the question to them, and then they invited me to the Mouse Deer group. Mm -hmm. So, I've, I mean, I went to the mouse deer workshop mm -hmm. and so from there I've, I've been there ever since until now and I've learned a lot from them. Fantastic. How yeah. long has that been? Since 2010? Um, is, that, is that since 2010? Actually it's just about a month ago. Oh, oh, a month ago. so it's yeah. very recent. Yeah. The, I mean Knowing Children has been around since 2010 mm -hmm. yes. but this project is actually I mean, it only commenced sometime in 2011, last ah, year, mid-August. Uh, the project is actually more specific. It has a greater goal. Basically, we are facilitating the first Malaysian children's report to be yep. submitted to the United Nations mm. Mm. Committee on the Rights of the Child. I yep. see. Yeah. So the video that we're showing here, mm -hmm. what does it actually this show? This is the Facebook on the Mouse Deer Group? Uh, no, this is actually no. one of the video, right. kind of like an interactive video that explains to the children How what exactly design? is the Mouse Deer Group. Ah. Yeah. So it's not something that is uh, by invitation only. It's actually very specific to children because right. it's also part of our research project. I see. In order to get a good Malaysian children's report, Mm -hmm. uh, which is written by children, we mm -hmm. have to approach in two ways. One is through the right to be properly researched fieldwork. So we went into homes and we went in, we go to children in alternative care mm -hmm. and get information from them. Mm -hmm. But there are also a large number of children in this country who actually blog, they Facebook, they tweet, mm -hmm. and you want to tap into that market, get their ideas and their opinions. Yep. That's why the Mouse Day Group was formed. It's basically a, a social media platform. Uh, online. Mm -hmm. It's a closed Facebook group. Right. Children can uh, be added in. They learn about human rights online yeah. and then they nominate about 20 children from the group mm -hmm. to come over to Knowing Children Office to work on a questionnaire. I see. Ah. So they will design their own online questionnaire and it will be distributed to all children in Malaysia to, uh, to submit. Alright. Mm. Now, uh, speaking of children, yeah. let's give a quick idea of what is the age group you're, you're actually talking yeah. about. Okay, the exact definition of a child in this country or and according to the Convention on the Rights of the Child, is below the age of 18. Mm. Yeah, any human being below, below the, the age, age of 18. 18. So even if you are oh, 17 plus, there. yeah. <laughs> Speak for yourself, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the reason why the group is very specific to children is because you know it has to be a safe space for children to express their ideas. True. If you have True. adults there, then they might not be comfortable to mm. share and talk about it. 
mm. any issues that they think is important to them mm. yeah. Yeah. you know but that doesn't mean mean that we totally you know say oh it's only a children only group and adults are not invited we have mm -hmm. our fan page where adults can like yeah. we have our twitter page where you can always follow and get updates i mean we have a lot of mm. parents who are also interested in us they they also always keep in touch with us and find out what's going on mm. all right and rather we, what made you decide to join this you know uh, what really sparked your interest um well <laughs> because I've, i mean i really want to know what the, uh, what rights I have yeah. and um, so I in between SPM results we I'm mean, waiting for SPM results so I was like I need to do something so mm -hmm. I wanted to see what uh, they can I mean teach me and tell me and so I know my rights until I reach the my 18th birthday mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. all right now I have to ask you this Nithya mm -hmm. um, this is advantageous to the children in yeah. the rural uh, in the urban areas uh -huh. uh, but do you go into the rural areas and and uh, knowing Malaysia and the, the vast you know mm -hmm. uh, little little uh, uh, pegs of children all over mm -hmm. the place mm -hmm. um, do they know what's going on with knowing children how do they then get in touch with knowing children yes so basically like I mentioned before we have two ways of approaching this children's report one is through social media mm -hmm. the other one is through field field work field I mean research so you done actually field work. go out there yeah. mm -hmm. we have worked with almost a thousand more than thousand children right now really? in different parts of uh, Malaysia children in alternative care or mm -hmm. an Asli community mm -hmm. uh, I mean and also we are going to work with the deaf and blind children as well do children in Malaysia know their rights? Yeah. From the findings that you have. Well, so far, I mean, based on what we work, get from course, the Mouse Day yeah. group with permission, <laughs> <laughs> um, what we I've heard so far is that children, it's a new thing for them. Yeah. Mm. What is the Mouse Day group? Mm. Who is Mouse Day? Mm. And what is rights? Mm. They don't understand their rights. I mean, one of the children actually thought that, oh, is it my right to get an extra? PlayStation Portable, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get what I mean. So it's a very new concept. Right. But once we tell them that their rights is basically, you know, your your entitlement, mm -hmm. and then they were like, oh wow, I never knew I had rights. Mm. Now I felt bad because when I was a child, I never knew I had rights until I became an adult. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. What sort of rights are you talking about yeah. here? You know, maybe you can give us some. Examples. Okay, it's basically uh, civil rights. You can say yeah. okay. uh, your right to be, a tr your right as a human being. Okay. Your right now, to education. They, yeah. Convention on the Rights of the Child has altogether 54 yep. articles. Oh. The 41st, 42 articles are uh, n standard articles. Mm. Your right to education, your right to uh, sh to shelter, yeah. food, safe life. Uh, yeah. And uh, when and the remainder 10 are more on general measures. Mm. The Convention on the Rights of the Child is basically an international document, mm -hmm. a legal document that mm -hmm. countries ratify. Mm. Our country ratified it in 1995. Mm. And in accordance to that, each country that ratifies need to submit a report, mm -hmm. a periodic report, mm -hmm. to the United Nations. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. so normally governments submit their report and then the civil society submit their, their alternative report, That's a right. companion piece, and children are also allowed to submit report. Now, coming yeah. back to that, uh, mm. that's the other thing that we were curious about. There is uh, a report, or rather a survey that was done, mm -hmm. and you do have an ambassador actually sending it up to the UN. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Because this is, this is what I picked up from uh, uh, the, the website itself. Yeah. Uh, okay, the survey has not been done yet. This, mm -hmm. The survey has been designed, mm -hmm. the questionnaire has been designed okay. by children. Radha was yes. part in, involved in that camp. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we are working on releasing it. Uh, across eight weeks, the next eight weeks. So the first set of questionnaire will be released tomorrow. And who will you be releasing it to? We'll be releasing it to our blog and then we'll hope media will help promote it to all children in Malaysia. So they just have to uh, log in mm -hmm. to this website on a Survey Monkey. I mean, it's basically a link. You yeah. Just click on the link, you go yeah. there, and you just fill up the, qu the questionnaire and then you just mm. click Submit. And then we'll get data from there. So and uh, what kind of questions are we talking about? Uh, you know, rather maybe you can highlight and yeah. since you're involved in the survey. Um, what, what were some of the questions? If you can just tell us like maybe one or two. Um, we were actually asking, I mean, like, um, I mean, not direct questions, yep. like, are you being abused? But, yep. yeah, I mean, try to beat around the bush and ask the mm. question. Right, right. Um, and very, then po po very politically correct <laughs> questions, I suppose. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, to see, like, whether the child is being abused, I mean, like, um, throughout Malaysia, you get to see whether the, I mean, after the survey, you get to see whether most of the child, uh, I mean, their rights are being respected, or or not, or they're just being left left and done. That I mean, mm -hmm. nothing has yeah. been right. done, or rather, they are aware that they do mm. have these rights that they can yeah. exert. Right? Yes, true. How many children are uh, involved in, uh, in a part of the master group and? Are you still looking into people? Well, the Mouse Day group is always open to children. Yeah. They can always just uh, add Mouse Day Malaysia, mm -hmm. which yep. is the user profile, and uh -huh. then 
uh, then join the group. So How we have about 182 you? members right now. Okay. Really? Yeah, we started off with 40 uh -huh. uh, sometime last year, and then suddenly the number just steadily increased. Mm. So yeah. So yeah, it, they are always welcome to join. Yeah, always welcome yeah. to join. Mm. But it's because we have to look at the issue of children protection. Yeah. Yeah. And in knowing children, I mean, when we started the Mouse Day group, we have our own child safe policy online, mm. so children can read and see how to, you know what are the rules and regulations in the group, mm. as well as how to take care of themselves. Mm. Because the internet, social media is actually very easy. Uh, you can spread a lot of information about yourself. So yep. we need to teach children that. So yeah. if you want to join the Mouse Day group, you need to add Mouse Day Malaysia first. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the Mouse Day Malaysia will verify that you are a child. Uh -huh. yep. you know, And then <laughs> you add a name. And this is not because we are totally discriminated. We'll be honest, are we past that age now. <laughs> yeah. 18 is a bit too young right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but a little bit a little older, yeah. right? But it's just for children protection because we can't have adults of around. Course. Yeah. And parents course. might not be comfortable you know, as well. So we need to take this very seriously. So mm -hmm. have you... In your uh, blogs and, and, and your especially your Facebook, do you mm. get uh, kids writing in to say, you know, mm. to, to share their problems or maybe to share a situation, say, what, what do mm. I do? Or maybe adults. You know. it, it, yes, know, do you have like an Aunt Thelma column? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, the thing is, we try to, Mouse Day is basically a um, virtual persona. Mm -hmm. Mouse Day interacts with children. If you watch the videos, basically, Mouse Day explains to them about their rights, explains to them about the reporting process, and etc. Mm -hmm. Mouse Day is not Big Bro or Dear Thelma. Mm. But if children do approach us, which they do, mm -hmm. we normally refer them to Childline Malaysia ah, and all the okay. other relevant other uh, bodies that can help NGO. them. Yeah, we don't say no to them, right. we just refer them. Because the group is specific specifically focused on learning about human rights mm. and working on coming up with a Malaysian Children's Report. You have any problems, we always refer. Mm. So what happens mm. to the survey uh, yeah. once you finish it? And how long are you taking to finish it, by the way? Uh, the survey, I mean, the survey is basically one of the tools used to get the data. So the survey will be going on for about eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, after, at the end of the eight weeks, we'll compile all the data. And together with the data that we get from children from uh, the RPR method, we would write the report then we'll have a children's forum hopefully in May mm -hmm. where children can come over and see oh this is the report mm -hmm. what do I want to change what do I, what do I want to add in and mm -hmm. then we compile it the report will be sent to you and and it's basically for children themselves to get an opportunity to present their own ideas in this case Malaysian children having mm -hmm. their own opportunity to spread their own ideas to the United Nations Committee mm. on the rights of the child. Brilliant. Mm. And who is taking this report to you? And, uh, yeah. Well, we haven't decided which child yet because, you know... <laughs> but you do have an ambassador. Well, we are looking at a few. We have a few founding members. Right. Radha is one of them. Okay. Uh, and Yay! then, yeah, we have about eight of them. If you okay. go to our blog, you can see their pictures. They're all over. Okay. One of them actually appeared on a few interviews as well. All right. So we'll have to decide when the right. time comes. What are the mm. first steps for you if one is interested to join mm. after your group? group as well as uh, Knowing Children Project. I'm sorry? Where, where can they go to to find out more information? You know, um, is it the Facebook mm. or, you know, just basically, uh, right where, can, where can they also watch that video just now? Uh, yeah. Well, the video will be released in our YouTube channel okay. soon. Right. Yeah, because we just um, released DVD copies of it. Mm. We are uploading it to the internet soon. Mm. But if they want more information about the Mouse Deer Group, they can always Google the Mouse Deer Group. Okay. okay. Our blog will appear on mm. Google search, right. our Facebook, our uh -huh. Twitter as well. Yep. So yeah. uh, they have to register online or fill out the form? No, no, not really. No, you no, just no forms. No, it's a it's an open group. Uh -huh. I mean, it's an open group for children. Children right. just have to request for approval to join the group. Okay. And if you're a child, you get to join the group and you start mingling, All you start right. learning. Yeah. Uh, Rather, I have to ask you this now. You are actually you joined the Mousy group some time back. You know. Yes. Um, what has changed in your perspective as a child? Um, I'm saying child because, well, you still haven't hit your yes. 18th birthday. But <laughs> as a uh, a youngster, you know, a teen. Mm. What has changed uh, from what you knew to what you now know? Would you be able to share maybe, you know, one thing? Um, well, at least I know I've got rights and people can violate my rights. Mm -hmm. And, and I mean, child's rights is based on respect. Yeah. So I know that people should respect me and, I mean, I must respect them as well. Mm -hmm. But then they must respect me for who, I'm, who, who I am mm -hmm. and... And your opinions matter. Yes. Do you, do you share um, this with your parents? Yes. I was about to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes I do. Yeah. Okay. Did your parents um, encourage you to join this? Yes. Before this, uh, right. Fantastic. Yes. And once you find out about your rights and about this project and uh, the monster group, uh, do you share this with your friends as well? Yes. Mm. And I are do. they interested to join? Um, <laughs> That's a solemn chupu mas. My sisters really like to uh, to join the group. Okay. 
but um, I haven't spoken to my friends yet. All right. Okay. Because I mean, majority. They I mean, my friends, my best friend, she just turned 18. Oh, <laughs> so just missed the boat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But I really like to tell my other friends about it. I think mm. you should. I think it's yeah. a fantastic thing. Yes. Now, uh, guys, we have to wish you all the best for this one because, mm. uh, yes. honestly speaking, it's fantastic what you guys are doing. Mm. Yeah. Kudos to knowing uh, knowing children. Mm -hmm. uh, brilliant, brilliant exercise that you're doing with Mouse Deep Group. Uh, mm -hmm. Only wish we could join, but no worries. <laughs> we'll join. We'll, we'll support you from back. From you can behind. always like our fan page and yeah. follow yeah. our Twitter Definitely and then like retweet our, our Twitter, <laughs> spread the information out there. All right. I'm yeah. not good on Twitter, but I'll get that. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know yeah. you guys are heading into the social media network full time. Mm. Yeah. Uh, all the best. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you Nitya. Thank you, Radha. Thank, Thank you so much for coming. Thanks here for joining us. Morning. Spread the word. Yes. Yep. All right, Malaysia, don't go away. We do have some slithery friends. We did have some youngsters in the studio. We have some slithery friends coming. They're right there behind the camera. I'm already getting goosebumps. So we'll <laughs> see you in a bit. Don't go away. Ooh.